page six now encouraging double dipping from California's new radical governor. Gavin Newsom is telling federal workers in his state who have been furloughed because of the temporary government shutdown to apply for unemployment. This despite the federal government saying, hey, wait a minute, you can't do that. We're all in this together. There's lots of state employees versus federal employees. You're taxpayers. You're American citizens. You happen to live in California. We have an obligation uh, to, to work together. Uh, and to the extent we can be resourceful and provide these resources, um, uh, I'm going to make sure that we prevail. And so the new radical governor of California is picking up where the old radical governor of California left off and attacking the Constitution, the rule of law, and just plain old common sense. It's a seamless transition of tyranny. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, if not illegal, it is immoral, I would tell the governor. There is a moral component to this because these people would be double dipping at our expense, taxpayer expense, both in the uh, unemployment line and also their back pay. They're going to be paid. They're on a paid vacation. Uh, governor Newsom, uh, the new governor, uh, as of a couple of weeks ago, is already uh, sprinting out of the box in his endeavor to show Californians that he can actually outspend his predecessor, Jerry Brown. Uh, this is just a first example, I believe, of more than a dozen to come. Gavin Newsom ran and was elected on the free stuff platform that California was going to pay for everything for its citizens and its residents who are not citizens who climbed over the fence and broke into California. Yeah. Everybody in California is going to be on the free stuff gravy train, courtesy of their new governor. Now, speaking of Washington, D.C., this newly minted Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, uh, she has a Palestinian problem, uh, let's face it. And so if she's pro-Palestinian, she's pro-Hezbollah. If she's pro-Hezbollah, she's pro terrorist and if she's pro-terrorist she's anti-israel and she shouldn't be allowed to get away with this on capitol hill well it's not a matter of discussion or debate graham she is out in public about it this is the congresswoman who took the map of the middle east in her office and put palestine over the country of israel this is the same lady that on her inauguration night made a speech I'm going to go to Washington and I'm going to impeach the mf -er in regards to her discussion of President Trump. And get this, posed for a picture with Abbas Hamadeh uh, at her celebration party, right. who is a renowned terroristic supporter of Hezbollah, who says Israel and all of its residents should be destroyed. She has his arms around the guy and she loves him and he loves her. Oh my gosh. She's in Washington representing the citizens of the great state of Michigan. They should be ashamed that they elected her. Okay, but there's another one, uh, Barry. Uh, there's another one elected, another Muslim woman elected, this one from Minnesota, who in 2012 tweeted about the evil of Israel. And she's been given multiple chances to pull, chances to pull that one back and, and make good. She will not do it. She stands by the statement. Well, it's really in interesting that these new congresswomen can't understand why American citizens are offended by gross, in public, on air, anti-Semitic comments, anti-Israel comments uh, that are so inflammatory. This is a woman who said, I pray to Allah to save America basically from the lies about Israel. And she can't understand, according to her, why that would be offensive to anybody. This is a woman that went before a congregation in a synagogue uh, while she was running and said, hey, I'm against BDS, it's un-American. The second she was elected, she took those words back and she is a proud supporter of BDS and a proud opponent of Israel. And she's on her way at this point to trying to implement policies to carry those uh, beliefs out in legislative action. I'm truly mortified that both of them represent Americans in Congress. 
and all good Americans should be. And Israel is our best ally. They're the front line against terrorism. And these two women want to rewrite history. And, and, and this should be viewed in the, in the paradigm this week, Barry, of, of Steve King. They're talking about sanctioning Steve King. And this is the Republicans, you know, that, that, that sanctioned him. They stripped him of all the committees. So, so where is Kevin McCarthy on these two? I'd like to hear from Kevin McCarthy on these two instead of Steve King hammering one of his own. Barry, thanks.